Hello, welcome to Map to Love and your twin flame soulmate divine partner check-in. I'm going to date it December 22nd through the 29th, but whenever you're guided here is the perfect time. We're going to tune into a little bit into the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction, the solstice, either winter or summer, depending on where you're at. These beautiful celebrations... Um, this this happens, this conjunction, every 20 years, and it's a really powerful conjunction to release the past, to release and find balance in your life, to move forward towards your dreams, your wishes, clean up your belief systems, your programs, What what is your mantra for your life, uh, changing your mindset, feeling that motivation, unlimited ideas coming to you on how to move forward. And with that full moon and cancer coming at the end of the month, I just keep getting the message. It's bringing it all home. It's tying it all together. And another thing, and you may find this interesting. This is, these are the cards. We're going to go over these in, in a minute. This is how I was guided to do this reading, but this sweatshirt, this big giant Blarney Island sweatshirt is something that I got with my father. Like we had matching sweatshirts. So after he passed, it was like probably the only thing that I took of his because it was important to me. But he came forward and he's a part of this reading because he's a part of my life guiding me. So he's helping guide all of you. And he's saying, see these threads, okay? Normally I wouldn't show you this stuff because I'm totally a Virgo. But uh, this is what spirit, your spirit guides, your loved ones want to tell you. That there's luck on your side. There's serendipitous moments coming prosperity, abundance, purification, and two coming together like merging as one. You see how those are merging. I hope you can see that. And these threads are sticking out. What they told me is the message is there's just a few things to like tighten up, button up before this can happen. And what I feel, because this is white, right? In the vulnerability card came out for alignment and new beginnings with being 56, being an 11. So it's coming back to an innocence. It's clearing out all the stuff that's not serving you, right? Purifying your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and then opening up to love with this green energy. And then two come together to be pure divine love. I mean, that's what I'm feeling. So um, thank you, Dad. <laughs> love you so much. Uh, so that's the message from there. And this is how my life is. Because I am the high priestess, I am an oracle, I am a messenger guide in this life, a healer, all of these beautiful things uh, that I've accepted as my gifts. And that's how spirit will give you messages sometimes. Like if you're just looking at something and you think of someone, or you're just looking outside and I don't know, you see a certain shape in the clouds and you think of someone or something, that's your guides, that's your loved one saying, yeah, you're on the right path, we're speaking to you. So there's all sorts of ways that they're speaking to you through nature, getting out in nature, really connecting through water, something about boats, somebody likes a boat, they, they connect with you there, or they liked boats and they're coming through. This dragon energy is, I feel like, you know, the fantasy, the fire, crystal clear vision. They, this is like an energy of your loved one, spirit guides coming forward. They're very vulnerable. They're very open. They're very innocent. This, this, in, this uh, energy and they're speaking in your ear, giving you the right words to say, helping you open up to heart to heart conversations and they're guiding you. I mean, there's, there's strong guidance here for this union. And we're going to start by uh, reading a little bit uh, from the vulnerability card. Let me just see if I can let you see that a little closer so you can get a good look at the image, the dragon, the crystals, the dragonfly. There's a lot of different things in here. The lotus flower. It's a beautiful card. But alignment for this, self-mastery. So vulnerability is real strength holding space, healing past wounds, accepting yourself as you are, sharing from the depths of your heart, raw truths, compassion for others, and removing your armor. And this is the energy of the union with your sacred lover. Okay, it's very strong. The divinatory meaning of this card is be vulnerable with yourself or others. It may also be time to step into the role of healer and hold space. 
Holding space means being fully present without judgment in a way that provides a safe and nurturing environment. In this place, guards can be dropped and a deeper level of awareness and relating can unfold. Enabling unconditional love and acceptance allows for vulnerabilities to be expressed. For the core of disease is to be discovered and for profound healing to take place. Wow, you guys, just soak that in. There is profound healing happening right now for you and your lover. And for the divine feminine in this connection, your finances are going to be better. And my dad is so funny because he's, and I don't know, this. somebody needs to hear this or you may think it's funny or maybe you, ha you or, or your father or someone in your life was like this. But it's like he loved presents at Christmas. And since we're getting close to that time, if you celebrate Christmas or just celebrating any kind of holiday, like he would save them all and like savor them. And I just feel like divine feminines, you're coming into a time where you're going to savor all these precious gifts. You're going to have money to give gifts to others. Your financial health is blossoming and blooming and growing exponentially. And you may not notice because deep, deep, deep in the roots of who you are and all this work that you've been doing, your ancestors, your loved ones, your spirit guides are telling you with this rainbow, you're being blessed right now. And there's going to be like a lot of growth and see, you're going to be able to travel and enjoy bliss of holiday time together with your lover. You're going to have the money to go to another country when the world opens up. This financial help is not only going to help you thrive in your life and get that home that you want and be able to have the freedom to just be who you are and spread that love and that light around in whatever way this is, whatever idea this is, golden opportunity you're leveling up in your career, but there's some really beautiful financial help. This is also healing from old ancestral patterns or things that have been going around and around for lifetimes upon lifetimes of this poverty mindset and this lack mindset. Well, you've changed that divine feminines. I feel that very strongly. And you're focusing on bliss, the honeymoon phase, happiness, joy, this innocence, this vulnerability. It's just blissful times are coming. Calmer waters, moving, moving on, traveling. I mean, it's all going to be possible. So believe that and know that, that these celebrations in this Saturn-Jupiter conjunction are benefiting you. And for the Divine Masculine in this connection, it's time to open up and have heart-to-heart -heart co conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, with your sacred lover, with people in your life. Be honest about the direction that you're going. Be open and vulnerable to expressing your emotions and connecting deeply to them because they are your guidance system and they are your ticket to freedom. And you are being guided heavily by a particular spirit guide. I believe it's a divine feminine energy because this looks divine feminine to me. So masculines, you're being guided by someone and you feel it like you know it. Anytime you make some kind of decision where you're closed off and, you know, just sort of being mute, it's like everything in you says, that's not the way. And you, in this little divine masculine Buddha is wearing blue. So that's like communication, whereas the feminine's wearing pink and it's just being open and receptive to these blessings that are coming. So you're being guided back to a place of innocence here. It's really beautiful. Okay, so we're going to see a little bit more on the masculine. What spirit, what may be holding the masculine back uh, from communicating? Like, what are they, what, what is the masculine working on in the collective that we're tuning into? Wow, that's kind of a lot, but they said I need to take it. Oh, look at that. Healing destiny, becoming a star, stepping out in the spotlight, dreams coming true. So they're really healing, really focused on healing and moving towards their dreams and their destiny. I feel that this particular masculine collective that I'm tuning into has felt like they were obligated to other people, other situations, dreams that their parents had for them, whatever the case may be. Now they're stepping into healing and realizing that this life is about them, that they're going to rise up above it all and become the star and do what they came here to do, what they want to do. So they're following 
spiritual guidance. See, that's the spirit guide, the stars, their star family. They're being led towards their destiny in a very powerful way with this with the star card. Yes, to drop the burdens. It's time. It's time for this ending. It's time for this ending for this new beginning, right? Uh, and, you know, we have to go through some things to learn, to grow. It was all part of the destined plan. And now spirit is encouraging the masculine to drop the burdens, to let go, to let go of anyone or anything that's not high vibrational. So that's what the masculine's working on. Yeah, look at that. Rise above. Make the decision to leave the shadows and the fears and the lower vibrations behind. The 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 um, stalemate, the being stuck and trapped in your own head. It's the, it's the release of that, and it's time to decide. That's why they're being guided. The masculines, you are being really pushed to make a decision here. This, a decision that's highest and best for everyone involved and rise above it all, get spirit's point of view. And this is that, you know, just purifying, come back and coming back to that innocence. So decisions are being made, I feel, to drop the burdens and go towards a, the destined path. Yeah, because it's been bothersome. The masculine's been in some stress, some uh, friends, family members, co-workers, drama, gossip, just kind of ridiculousness, to be honest. And for a long time, they engaged in this because they thought that was part of just the way it was supposed to be. But I feel very strongly that they, this masculine collective I'm tapping into is working to change this, wants to move away from this and drop these burdens because there's certain people in their lives, belief systems, programs that they had since they were a child that they're working to overcome. And that's a big deal, but they want to change this. They don't want to be a part of the toxicity anymore. They don't want to be closed off anymore. Yeah, the, it's the release of the holding on too tight, see? Holding on too tight, not opening up. But look at this is an opening up. This isn't a, a holding on tight. This is an opening up. So they're growing spiritually, grounding themselves in the physical reality, getting in touch with their emotions and balancing their mental body and taking care of their physical body. And it's helping them heal and open up and find the stability. Because to me, this card, the Four of Pentacles, is an opening up and finding the stability with all aspects of themselves. North, south, east, and west, you know? Just finding that, that balance. Oh, for freedom. So, and look at those feathers that are protecting the pentacles. See, that's that spirit guide, the angels. You know, these little angels that are protecting this union. So the masculines are really working on their personal freedom. If they're in any kind of connection, responsibility, whether it be love or not, they're working to free themselves to become financially free. They're working on their pentacles, uh, saving some money and finding their independence. I do feel they're opening up and finding their independence here from some kind of toxic situation or person or people in their life. And they're breaking free and they're in it's there you are being very much protected by the angels this money this abundance that's meant for you will always be for you it's not for anybody else and the masculines are starting to realize that that it's time for them to take charge of their life to change things if they want things to change they have to be the change and moving towards something a career opportunity um, a creative project something in the material world that is part of their destiny and also with the nine of pentacles, I always feel like they're taking care of their physical body better. So working to release the burdens, uh, the toxic situations within and without rising above. That's, that's what's going on. What's going on in the masculine's heart space during this time as they purify to this vulnerability so the masculines are, are seeing the new path because to me, the two of wands is a new path opening up like a fork in the road. What direction are you going to go? And they're going on the healer's path, the path that feels good, their destined path. This is the star. This is the destiny. This is the path that's opening up. So in their heart, they're, you know, just starting to, you know, they're opening up to this. You see, it's opening this new way. And to me, that's like twin flames, you know, two flames, two wands coming together to celebrate expanding, growing the new path that you're going on masculines is going, it's wonderful. I feel like this is your spirit guide. Look, birds, birds are divine. They are spirit messengers. 
This is your spirit guide saying, yes, you are meant to be together. You are meant to move forward together and celebrate life together. I mean, look at that. It's like both of you looking up and saying, oh my God, thank you. Oh my God. It's like you're celebrating with spirit. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. I've never seen that in that card. Oh, I love it. See, every time it can be different. Every time you read cards, it's a different story. And that just show, shows you that, you know, this is the energy right now. That this is this union. This two of cups is being led by your loved one, your spirit guide, the angels. Wow. Wow. And look at that. And I said, your spirit guides, your angels. And then Archangel Michael's coming through and saying, hell yeah. I'm helping clear this crap. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting this union. I'm helping you heal and rise up out of the freaking ashes and go after what you want. So the masculine is feeling like they want to communicate. They want to celebrate. They want to go down this new path. They're feeling, they're getting very clear in their heart space of what they want. And they're taking charge. Look at that. I'm taking charge. The king of wands, the father of wands. The protector, the healer, the decision maker, this very passionate, passionate, charismatic person. And I did feel that the masculine may be going on a, um, moving towards a different path, a healer's path. And with the snake energy, yeah, something they're doing is going to help others heal. So they're getting a lot of clarity and feeling very passionate in their heart space about this connection. I mean, the king of wands, come on. And this complete clarity and, and really listening to their guides, really listening to Archangel Michael, like wanting this, no matter what, wanting to take charge and move forward. Anything else here in the masculine's heart space? Look at that. Balance, justice, personal power, communication, the coming together. The perfect pair. Look at that. They're like, I want justice with this connection. I'm breaking free. I'm rising up. This is my destiny. I want it. I want to balance this out. So they're working to step into their power to make decisions that are highest and best for them and everyone else involved. Open their heart up. Be vulnerable again to this love. And that's masculines. That's the ticket. That's when you find the balance in your perfect match. Complete clarity here coming in. Passionate, strong, new beginnings. Wow. And look at the bottom. It just wants to peek out right now. Look, the two cups. Yeah. Like I said, the coming together, the perfect match, romance, love of a lifetime, unconditional love, soulmates. That's the two of cups energy. So they're really feeling that energy in that pull to go towards that. Okay. We're just going to move these over a little just so you can see and we're just you know we know that the burdens have been there but we're dropping them so and we're dropping this toxic energy we're opening up we're finding our independence right there's a new path opening and it's to be celebrated celebrate how far you've come celebrate this union so there's celebrations coming clarity and it's all around this two of cups they said put it in the middle right here because that's what it's centered around yeah look at that getting very clear with this father of swords energy so it's all centered around this unconditional love. Always is, you know, I'll always say that. It'll always be the message. And I think when you hear a message over and over, one day it resonates, right? That's why sometimes similar messages will come through because there's people that need to hear it again. Sometimes we need to hear things in different ways, different times to really bring it all home. And that's what I feel like with the Cancer Full Moon. It's going to bring it all home following the north star home that's what the masculines are doing spirit is you know lighting that fire pushing them forward what about for the sacred feminine what's being worked to be healed and released and understood to move forward into these new beginnings for the for the sacred feminine oh there's that king of swords look it's at the bottom of the deck here on the other side getting clear Find in the balance of the head and the heart. This is mental mastery. Both parties mastering their mental body and finding the balance with your heart space. That is the key. 
And to me, with your finances improving, it's like you taking charge and being very clear with what you want, holding your vision and dreaming bigger and knowing that it's your truth. This is your truth. This is your destiny. So getting very clear, wanting to communicate. So that's been being healed in the sacred feminine is this uh, head and heart balance here. So we're just going to put that there. Yeah, reevaluating, putting your efforts in where you feel like you want to. Because the Eight of Pentacles is putting in the work, taking your power back, evaluating where you're at. When you come into this abundance, this opportunity that's you know going to change your life, I feel. When this happens, or maybe it just happened, you know, take a little pause. No rush. That's what it's saying. Take a pause. See, this king is not, you know, not rushing. Like getting grounded in the truth, coming up with a plan, a strategy to move forward, you know, and live out your dreams. So that's putting in the work and taking time. Maybe doing a creative project will help you find that balance and certainly getting outside. You know, you see the tree. Okay, you see the tree here, how financial health is growing. And then look at the fruit on this tree. Yeah. I mean, I'm just telling you the abundance, the opportunities coming. What else? Oh my God. Divine counterparts. Yeah, I'm clear that it's you. <laughs> I'm clear that I want this rebirth with you. My truth is you. My truth is I'm willing to put in the effort and I know you are as well because true divine counterparts would. Look, it's divine counterparts. So what's being healed in the feminine is her own or his own masculine and feminine energies. Getting very clear, finding the balance of the head and the heart. This connection that you have with you and your person, you are meant to communicate to the world somehow. Your truth, your clarity, your business, your creative endeavors. It's two highly evolved intelligent beings, both mastering their mental body. So there's a lot to do with getting out of your head and getting very clear and holding that vision and tending to the small things and the creative things and putting in the effort because it's going to be very fruitful. And there's that bliss, like, oh, we get to go enjoy life together. Yeah, look at this, Knight of Wands. I'm very passionate. I know what I want and I want to move forward. That's how, that's where the feminine's at. Lighting that fire, that spark. Charging into freedom sacred sexuality i'm very clear that i want you my masculine my king and this feminine the divine feminines that i'm tuning into they're willing to do the work masculines this is equal give and take here and that's what they expect and they expect you the feminine expects truth and honesty and authenticity and opening up because that's who the feminine is I expect you to open up because that's really important for our connection because communication is the key. King and queen of swords and this justice, you know, and, and this Archangel Michael coming through. Yeah, that is a big part of any connection is communication. Yeah, even talking about the fears, talking about the shadows, talking about the illusions together. This connection, you're going to be open and free to communicate about everything, everything you've learned, past relationships, because that doesn't matter. Okay. It's very low vibrational in, in my personal opinion and what I feel in the spirit to be upset with someone's past. Their past is their past. It doesn't define what they're going to be moving forward. It just brought them to where they are right now. So it's letting go of the fears, the insecurities, the doubts, facing them, seeing through the illusions. And look, two wolves coming together and mating for life. I'm telling you, this is a partner that is going to last a lifetime or a really long time. It's, it's just, you know, coming together, the masculine and feminine, trusting your intuition, divine feminines, your intuitive gifts, your psychic gifts are very, very, very powerful right now. And there's this full moon above her head, right? I'm telling you something about that cancer full moon is bringing it all home for these new beginnings. So trust that, trust where your intuition is guiding you. Trust that when spirit inspires you to do something creative, to do something that you've never done, create some kind of art piece or some kind of clothing maybe, or whatever it is that you're creating, it's divinely inspired. And sometimes it's not even just so you can sell it. It might be, and that might be your business that you're in as you create things and it's, it's, it's about to take off. That's definitely a message, but also doing creative projects is fun. You know, making these little dresses is freaking fun. 
decorating these little trees is fun and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to sell it or give it away it's just it helps you come back into balance when you focus on something else instead of fears and worries and doubts it's like get creative here with your approach that's what i feel like and look you can't come on the bottom of the deck here it is again the ace of swords getting very very clear with what you want you are rising up Archangel Michael is with both of you. That's, you know, he's one of my main spirit guides. He's been with me always. And I feel that Michael is also with, is with your person. And you see, look at this. This is really interesting. I'm right under that Satan of Pentacles, by the way. And there's the wolf in there, like the feminine and masculine coming together. I just have to show you because that's that, that's the message. But do you see how the masculine's ace of swords is rising up, is pointing up? Like I'm looking to the feminine. I'm looking to the light. I'm rising up out of the darkness, right? I'm rising up out of the dark, out of these fears, out of the lower vibrations. And then the feminine is here. I'm bringing all of this divine wisdom because I am the high priestess. I am the all-knowing and I'm bringing it down into the physical. And the masculine's like, I'm bringing everything I've learned in the physical world and I'm going to meet you in the middle whoa and that was a message like straight from michael okay so that's a message straight up from michael that's what's happening and it's destiny <gasps> wow okay okay what's going on in the feminine's heart space i mean very clear in the head space and like working through any fears and everything Oh, in the heart, in the heart space, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's do this. I feel so much passion and fire to move forward and be with you. I, this, I'm very clear on this. It's time to get busy, baby. It's time to travel. It's time to expand. It's time to grow. And people are going to follow you. Follow your light. Take your lead. You're, you are, the feminine's like, we are a living example of, of divine love. Let's shine it. Let's show others how to come to this place because it's a happy place. And this is like, like, I feel like the twin flame, soulmate, divine, sacred union, you know, soul tribe, all of us coming together and like moving towards freedom. That's what the feminine saying. I'm ready because it's time for all of us to move towards our freedom. Not just me, but my tribe too. I'm leading the way. Wow, that was a lot that came out. But the two that we're facing up, we'll take, look at this. <laughs> the feminine's like, I manifested this. I'm the freaking magician. I got everything I need. And it's time. Like the feminine knows. Like it's time for this. It's time for forward movement. It's time to travel beyond the illusions and the fears of this 3D reality. It's time for the Ten of Cups. <laughs> it's time for my happiness. It's time that I feel nourished and loved. And it's time for these new beginnings. Oh, this is happiness, joy, peace, and contentment. That's what the feminine feels in her heart space. I know. This is my truth. Oh, wow. And at the bottom, I saw the queen of wands. So like, yeah, I know you're my spiritual counterpart. The feminine knows. Look at this. Come on. The two of cups, they have me pull, and the two of cups comes flying out. This is it. This is soulmate love. Look at this. The stars are leading this. Spirit guides leading this. The coming together of two people that were meant to be a resurgence in the in, in the union you're in, and here's that dragonfly coming in and saying, "Yeah, you've are, you've seen through the illusions. You did it, and now you're birthing into this new beginning. Partnerships, alliances, best friendship. I mean, wow, it's really pretty energy. And right right after the Ten of Cups, and then the Temperance card is like, "Yes, this is your person." <laughs> This is happening. This is manifesting. The feminine knows it. I feel like trust your intuition. Hold that vision. Don't let anyone or anything take you away from that because this is gorgeous energy that you're manifesting. So in the feminine's heart, look at intemperance just had to come out after all those shuffles. You see how hard spirit is working to tell you that this is real, that there's reconciliation, that the angels are protecting you. What's meant for you will always be for you. And it's the two of cups. Two of cups energy, two of cups energy, two of cups energy. The two cups that I felt here because it's being guided, right? Your two cups and spirits coming in to just add some more love to the situation to let you know that it's real. And this is how spirit 
shows you that they're here. This Ace of Swords and this Ace of Swords, come on, Two of Cups and Two of Cups, two different decks, manifestation, counterparts, like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, for the masculine, what is the masculine working to manifest right now? What do they focus on to manifest? We know they're feeling the love. They want to celebrate. They want to take in the new path. What is, what is working to manifest in this time period for the masculine? <laughs> the high priestess, the sacred feminine. Okay, so masculines, trust your intuition. And also the high priestess can mean secrets. And so can the magician. So reveal yourself. Open up to this. Have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Trust where your intuition, your heart, and your soul are guiding you. It's your destiny. Rise up. Trust. So the, the masculine, I feel like, is trusting. They're, they're manifesting this uh, revealing and the spiritual growth. They are focused on their spiritual growth here. And the feminine. I mean, yeah, hello. Sacred masculine energy. Yeah. What's manifesting is they're taking charge. They're finding the balance. Letting go of any kind of control and just trusting their intuition. And to me, this signifies balancing of the masculine and feminine within. So they, the masculines are manifesting growth. See? Growth with the tree. Stability. And they're trusting their intuition here. And look at the bottom. King of Pentacles, Father of Pentacles. Hello. Yes, abundance, stability, good father, good business person. Like they're manifesting good health, you know, a growth in health and finances. So that's what's that's what is working to manifest in your life, masculines. When you trust your intuition, when you trust where your heart is leading you and free yourself of any limitations, any toxic situations, your freedom and finances are improving and, and you're growing and stability is coming in. I mean... And the Father of Cups is right under that. So it's it's what's fueling the masculine is the love. It, it truly is the love. What about for the feminine? What's working to manifest for the sacred feminine? Wow, that's a little chunky spirit. But that Queen of Wands just wants to be seen. She likes to be seen. Okay, celebrations. Look, you got celebrations over here. Yeah, there's celebrations coming. See how you're mirroring? So believe this and know this. When all these confirmations, double confirmations are coming out, this is what's manifesting. Celebrations coming together. Oh my God, the sun. And you know, the sun keeps coming out. I, I feel like that spirit is saying, yes, this is your clarity. Come back to this vulnerable innocence, the very beginning message. Your babies, look, there's something about having babies or your kids are protected or your ideas. Look, there's babies. Look at that. You're meant to have a baby if you're in that time period in your life. You're meant to have a divine child with this person. Or raise your child with this person if you have children. That can be that creative project that you're pushing forward together for sure. And look at that, the page of pentacles. So I feel that the masculine's getting themselves ready so they can offer something with this father of pentacles energy, this emperor energy to the high priestess, to the sacred feminine. And this is like new life. This is a new path, happiness, peace, joy, abundance. I mean, this opportunity in the material world that's coming to you, feminines, this money, this gift. I mean, whatever this is. Yeah, it's good times ahead. Happy freaking times ahead. And I just looked up and it was like 3330 or something on the timestamp. So that's the Ascended Masters saying, we're with you. We're helping you. Master your craft. Master yourself. Enjoy life again. See that vulnerability? To me, this page of Pentacles. It's a new idea, a new path, learning something new. Perhaps you and your masculine are going to learn something new together. That's fun. That's wonderful. Doing something new. It's just... And look at that. The Queen of Wands just is like, hello, the Father of Cups. You know, it's about the love and it's about the freaking passion and taking charge. And then right under that, the Nine of Pentacles. So another confirmation. Financial independence is coming. Okay. There's a lot of passion. The feminine feels a lot of passion for this connection. And just life in general. Passionate about life and moving forward. 
being revitalized. And see, so this Father of Cups wanting to be shown here is like the, the masculines like being vulnerable in the love, see? Okay, what's some final advice for you during this time for this connection? What is your star family, your spirit guides, Archangel Michael, your loved ones? Look at that. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. So fall in, surrender to this love, surrender to the change, surrender to the healing, surrender to the blessings, fall into spirit's arms. Holding the opposites. You and your person may be kind of opposite in nature, but really when it comes down to it, you're the same. Fall into this love. You're being protected. Empathetic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So spirit's saying sometimes those fears, those that weirdness when you're all happy and you're like in this sun energy and you're just like, I know things are working out, taking charge, feeling good. And then all of a sudden you don't feel good. That's not yours. Don't keep it. Pray for that person, send positive love and light or whatever energy it is and let go. And because you're so empathetic and you're like a sponge, it's really important to protect yourself. And I feel like that's why Archangel Michael's coming through and saying, I am helping protect you. Okay. Just stay in alignment. That's all you have to do. Earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. So it may be a time period for you where you just need to slow down and trust. Slow down and rest. Meditate. Take care of yourself. Nourish yourself. Connect with Mother Earth. And the clarity is coming. Just kind of fall into life. Fall into the arms of spirit. And a few more messages from the Work Your Light deck. Yeah, that's what it's called. I like using them together. Um, pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Yeah, this card comes out a lot too. Like you are the oracle. You are a guide. You are a healer. You are the light. So be the light. Step into your power. Uh, surrender and allow yourself to receive all these incredible blessings. You are the high priestess. See, You are the high priest, the high priestess, you are. This connection is of the light. I mean, no doubt. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive. Again, look at that. Empathetic star seed. So you are an empath if you were wondering. Get grounded. Or one of you is or both of you are. Highly sensitive. Connect with nature. Again, connect with nature to find your peace. That, that's where you get it. You get grounded in nature. Because your vibration is rising and you got to get grounded in your physical body and into this physical world or else, you know, you just might float somewhere else. <laughs> right? So they're saying, get grounded. Get grounded in this abundance. Get grounded in this love. Because things are changing. Yeah. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Yeah, it's all part of the plan. The foundations are being laid for this new life. I mean, seriously. Wow. So trust that trust that and it says trust your path wow if you knew you would be supported what would you do and, and this is spirit's way of saying it's time to go for it it's time to take those steps forward come up with a plan write it down what would you do trust your path because your heart and soul are leading you towards this connection leading you towards happiness joy financial health physical body health just complete clarity and your sacred divine lover so you are on the right path follow it trust trust your intuition Always trust your intuition. I'm sending you all so much love.